Hello and uh, welcome to my Graphing for Dummies extravaganza. Uh, in my years as a lecturer at Canterbury College, I've seen quite a few students try to use graphing software, but not very well, to map the diode forward conduction characteristic of any particular type of diode you care to mention. I personally prefer to do these graphs by hand, but I recognise that students would like to be able to do a good grafting software so this morning I thought I'd have a go myself the way that I did it I opened up Excel I went to insert and I chose scatter and this is the option I chose scatter with smooth lines that one there and when you do that a, a graph will come up at, at, to start with it will be an empty space pretty much a blank space We'll talk about that in a minute. What I did at this point was I entered the data from my diode tests. So for example, the voltage, the, the maximum and minus voltage was zero, uh, I beg your pardon, 50, minus 50.2, which went all the way up to 0.8. And then I put the corresponding current measured along with those particular values. Don't forget the minuses, they're very important. When you get the graph up, to actually get this data into a graph, what you'll do is you'll right click in the area and you'll do select data. And you'll get a window like this come up. You can delete that. Select the data you want. So if, say for example I want to select all the data there. I select it. Click OK. And what you're looking at now is the complete conduction characteristic that's all of the data in the table represented in the graph and it's fine it shows us what we want to see the the actual conduction characteristic of the diode but the point of interest is really here at this point here so if we wanted to just look at that point for example we would select data delete the chart data range here and select the part that we want so there you are, I go up there again, click OK, and you can see a much clearer look at the at the point of interest, which is around here. Other things you can do, obviously, um, if we go back to chart tools again, you've got various options in terms of colours. Um, layouts, uh, for example, here we've got grid lines. Uh, you can have none, but I prefer to have them in there. And th th this part of it would be for you to mess around to find the best way of, of actually representing the data. Uh, you can change your titles, for example. You can change this here. And you can change that there. It's going to take you an hour, maybe an hour or two, to, to really get to grips with this. But once you do, you will be able to produce some very nice graphs in Excel which will be useful for other outcomes in other units that you do whilst you're at the college. I hope this has been helpful. Um, and goodbye, good luck, and look forward to seeing your graphs.